Okay, Ivy, so I'm going to start by just combing your hair, okay? And you told me that you're going to an event tonight. Yeah. So, could you let me know, um, what is the vibe of the event? Um, it's a little bit, like, business casual. Okay. So something classy, mm -hmm. but also relaxed. Yeah. Like you're not at work. Right. But you still want to look professional. So. I am obsessed with this color of your hair. I think it's so gorgeous. So first I'm going to just detangle, get some of the flyaways to smooth out and then we'll spray over it with water. Now, do you like these earrings? Um, yeah, I like them. I wear them every day, but I don't know if they're the right ones for the occasion. I, I do have a pair that might perfectly match your shirt. Okay. So I think that might be an option. Hopefully you'll like them. They're just a bit more unique. Okay. I'd love to try them on. So I think they might look lovely on you. Do you look forward to holiday parties? Or are they more uh, awkward or a chore? Um, yeah, I guess they just feel like a commitment you have to attend to. It's kind of a weird balance. Mm -hmm. Because you have to, you know, have the nature of it, just having fun, it's a party. But you're also with everyone you work with every day, like your boss. So it's kind of hard to completely let loose. Yeah, totally. So trying to give you a look that demonstrates both those sides. Okay, I'm going to go over here. You just move a little bit that way. Perfect. Do you use heat products on your hair? Um, I usually wear, I usually use the Dyson wrap. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, but I always make sure I use heat protectant before. Such a good idea. So your ends don't get fried? Right. Yes. Do you wash your hair every day? Um, no, I try to wash it every other day because okay. I've noticed the color just fades really quickly if I wash every day. Okay, I think that's a perfect um, balance. Alright, let me just look and see how we're going to just lay and frame your locks here. Okay. So, I'm just going to just do some twisting work here. Okay. So, just to give you a type of curl that doesn't look like you've styled it all night. Just to give you something more natural. Okay, so, I'm just going to lay there. I 
still not completely brushed. Here we go. Okay, that's going to lay there just right. I'm going to be applying some water. Just to smooth out the top. Lovely. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to be up brushing just right here next to the part. This gives you a nice little bounce. some of these wild hairs just by using some wax. So we're going to try not to weigh down your hair but just keep it looking clean. Okay. Very nice. Okay, if you could turn around, I just want to get to the back of your hair, make sure that it's smooth. Okay, right, so just like I did in the front, I'm going to be just doing some twisting, so, and um, holding the sections together with a bobby pin. the rest straight. I think that is what we're working for. Okay. Alright. So that's going to sit there. Just one more here in the back. did it take you to grow out your hair so um at this length um i've had it long for quite a while okay looks so great i did cut it like a really short bob when i was i think that was like i don't know more than 10 years ago but it grew back it's always good to switch it up but yeah. I think the length that it's at right now is very complementary to your face shape, so you found the right balance. Okay, 
Okay, you can turn around now. All right, I'm just going to um, do one more twist here. See, your hair's already kind of turning inward um, up here at the bang section, so I'm just reinforcing what's already kind of what your hair's wanting to do. Do some de shining and touching up of your eye makeup, which looks very good. Um, but I might want to curl those lashes and um, a few other things. Okay, so I want to just use this roller, and what it does is it takes away your shine and also adds a little bit of powder, and it is just perfect for your skin type. So it's going to look very good. I see your skin has a nice moist texture to it, so I don't have to do much. You do need some more blush. lovely on you and um, complements your skin tone but uh, just something to liven it up since it is a night party I think this looks so good okay okay let me come over here Do you know what I'm thinking? I have an eyeshadow palette that will look very good with your eyes. So I think I'm going to give you a little bit of pink right here. Is that okay? okay? Yeah. And if you don't like it, you can let me know and we'll just wash it right off. Okay, thanks. Alright, so pink eyeshadow is all the rage right now. Okay. It is really in style. You'll see it in all the advertisements. So I think that this is going to be a winner. Absolutely. So it looks nice and sparkly. Just trying to contrast your shirt that you're wearing, just to give you a bit of dimension and having it be more interesting. That looks very good. Just doing it right along, just going right above the crease and a little bit below it. That's very good. Can you open your eyes? Look at me. Oh my goodness, I love this. I'm so obsessed with this. I think you're going to look so good. Okay, so, good. Yeah. Alright, now I'm going to give you a bit of blush. Okay. Okay. to make you look too circusy, but I think it will just kind of make you look more flush and healthy, like you've already had um, a glass of wine before you show up. <laughs> okay. So, I 
Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take out the curls and then fast with that a little bit more. Okay. So I see it's kind of doing more of an exaggerated twist and it's very subtle but that's kind of what we're looking for. So if you look in the mirror and don't see a huge difference um, that's okay because I'm not trying to um, fix what's already not broken as the Americans say. Okay. Alright, just trying to spread this out here. Okay, so be a little perfectionist about these baby hairs. I think that they're so unique, the way that they're laying. I really want to bring a few down. Look, let's see, like, there's this adorable curl that kind of just goes down, and if I put it in front of your ears, it just looks, it gives you that extra touch. So unique. I love it. Okay. And if you hate it, you can change it. Okay. Okay. Right. I'm going to be just brushing some of these extra little flecks and specks that I see on your shirt. These are little things that only probably I notice, but I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to achieving the perfect look, so. Okay. Oh, this necklace is lovely. It's a nice green. I'm going to just Turn it so the lock is in the back. Okay. Okay. It keeps turning around. Yes, it's all it's all right. And I think let's see. I think it will look so good if you put it right here. If you showcase it. I know you have a second one you can wear underneath, but this really does dress it up. I'm trying not to make you look like a giant watermelon with the green and pink, but I really do think it looks good and it's not too conspicuous, <laughs> so don't worry about that. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to use a different comb. This one has more of a fine tooth, so it just gets more of the microscopic baby hairs that might get in the way. I'm going to take a deep frizzing solution and just gently I'm going to rub it just in the bottom of your locks. I don't want to apply anything to the top of your part because it might make your hair look heavy but if the bottom looks more relaxed and also um, Kind of like that wet look is in style that you've seen, you know, Kim Kardashian wearing where it looks like she just walked out of the pool but she's at the Met Gala. It's kind of like that, only a little bit more subtle. And that's kind of what I'm doing here with bringing the curl in front of your face, just a little bit more of that wet kind of look. In fact, I think I'm going to spray you down just a bit more. This is just water, so I am going on top. Yeah, so. And this uh, 
a more wet look is perfect for darker hair. On lighter hair it, it doesn't quite do the trick but with dark hair it looks so good especially because you have dark features and your eyebrows are such a dark shade that I think it looks so perfect. Okay, taking my little light here I'm just going to look just because when you go into different establishments at a different bar the lighting might be different. I want you to look good in whatever lighting that you have and right now I see great. Does your foundation have glitter? Um, I put a little bit of primer that has a little bit of um, yeah, like a glowy I absolutely finish. love it. I'm seeing some nice shimmer and I love that it only like pops off in different lighting so you know, if you're talking to someone like a co-worker, um, they'll just catch a glimpse of it. You know, if you turn your head, I really like that effect. Just kind of gives you a more dynamic look. Okay, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. With that being said, I don't want to mess with your foundation because it looks so good. But I do want to just like blot it a bit and just give you a little bit more oil. Uh, prevention. I, my skin gets very oily and I'm a bit obsessive about keeping it nice and dry because you know you go to these events and you sweat and you put all this work into making yourself and your makeup look so perfect and within the first 10 minutes it starts drooping down so some of this is uh, waterproof too. So. If your bottom makeup, let me look at me, let me see. Yeah, so if your bottom liner starts to go down a little bit, so what this does is just kind of like give a barrier. So it's only going to go down just a little bit, so it might actually transform into like a smoky look. Okay. Okay, not like a raccoon or like <laughs> you just uh, walked home at 3 a.m. after a hard night of partying. So I think that's great. I notice you don't have lip colour on. Would you like me to put some on? Sure, yeah. Okay, great. Now, do you have a colour that, that works for you, like a shade? Um, I usually go really light, or kind of like a nude lip. A nude or shade. Light. Okay, I have a couple of those. I have a pink shade and a more, like, nude. Like you said, I'll show you both. Okay. We can try on both, and if we don't like them, we can wipe them off. Okay. okay. I lied, I said. I was going to do the lips first, but I'm going to just brush your eyebrows. Okay. Okay, so just close your eyes. Right, I'm just going to do some fill-ins and just touches right here. I don't have to do much. They're very well groomed. I'm just trying to add some more dimension and shape. Okay, so I'm going to be brushing against um, the grain of the lashes. Okay, just to give some more volume because your lashes, they are precise but they're more short, right? Like they end right here. Mm -hmm. Not, you know what? I think it's an illusion. I think your eyes are just so big and bright that your brows look a little bit more short. <laughs> but I do think that they're probably normal size now that I see it. I think it's a good problem to have. Okay. Okay, so I let them a little bit. So easy to wipe off if you don't like it. But I think you will. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So I have a lip stain that is sheer, but it is a bit darker. If you don't mind me trying it, we can um, go ahead and go from there. But I think that it will look very good with your eyes and what I've done to your earrings. Okay. I think it'll yeah. be a nice look. I would love to. Just to try it. Oh, yeah. Do you see the shade here? I'm going to put a little bit on yeah. my thumb. Do you see? Mm -hmm. So it's not as dark as it is in the bottle. Yeah. Okay. So you're okay with that. If you close your eyes, I'm just going to be applying it gently. And it goes on wet at first. 
but has a binding quality that just kind of sets in nicely. Okay, now don't try to smush yet, I'm just trying to get You know, like um, Gen Z has a trend of going over this line, the natural line of the lip, of just um, going over it. I can't bring myself to do it. So I'm going to do what I usually do and just highlight the little widow's peak, or whatever you want to call it. I know there's a word for it, I can't think of it. Oh. Cupid's bow, yes, thank you so much to so the Cupid's bow. Um, I think that I just love it so much, so if, it, if we're out of style then oops, oh well. Okay, so that looks good on you. You know what, it might be a bit too bright. Okay. I'm going to be honest, I'm going to show you. I do think it's a bit too bright. Okay, I want you looking good, so. Not everything I do is perfect right away, so now go ahead and let me know if you agree. It's a bit bright. What do you think? Do you like it? Maybe I think it, it is a little bit bright. It's a bit bright in darker lighting. It might look yeah. good. But just looking at you here, I think that we're going to go ahead and tone it down. Okay. So I'm going to bring a makeup brush. We're going to just get rid of it, and then okay. we'll restart. Okay. okay. So. so I'm going to take this sponge. And just blot it a bit. We might not need to take that off entirely, but we do need to definitely tone it down. Okay. It's okay. Well, it's doing its job. It's supposed to stain your lips and it is staying on there, but I am lightening it a bit. So, no worries. Okay, so it is looking a bit better. Okay. Alright, let me see here. I'm just trying to get everything to look even. Okay, all right, we're going to start that again. Maybe this? Okay, so I'm going to apply something that I think will help to tone it down. Yes, this is a more muted kind of, let me see your lip, kind of shade that I think contrasts it quite well. Okay, go ahead and smudge for me. Yes. Okay, that looks so much better. The shade is a lot better. It just looks more natural. Like you're not trying so hard. Okay. So, and it's going to, you know, uh, clear up a little bit as the night goes on. So, okay. I think it's good to start with something bold. Um, but we make sure that it's not too bold. But it's going to um, just blend in with your lips as the night proceeds. So okay. don't worry about it if you think it's a bit too bright. Okay. And this gloss, you'll give it a nice shine. And I think that looks lovely. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go over your hair one more time. Okay. So. Here we go. There we are. The twists, I think, did a perfect job. Okay, did I take out the ones in the back? Yes, okay, but you're not smooth in the back. So let me get to that. Okay, just brushing. Okay. I love the 
extra length that you have in the back. I think it's so unique. Okay, so, okay, okay, so I'm going to show you the look that I've created. Okay. Let me know if you think anything else needs to be done, but I think it would look so good. I love it. Do you like the eyeshadow? Yes. I probably wouldn't have gone for something like this myself, Pink. but I really like it. It's a bit different, and you're showing yeah. up to see people that you see on a regular basis, and it's more for like a, um, a festive celebration. So yeah. you want to show a different side of you. Um, you know, but be a little bit subtle. So I think that we nailed that. Yeah, yeah, I really loved it. Absolutely, yes. And so, Thank you so much. And after tonight, you can never wear pink again. If that's <laughs> no, your I choice. really like it. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and stretch you a bit out of your comfort zone. And I think it's going to be lovely. Have an excellent time tonight. Thank and you. It was such a pleasure. Thank you. Okay.